Oscar Isaac is in negotiations to play Mark Spector, the lead superhero on upcoming Disney Plus show Moon Knight, multiple Hollywood trades are reporting. Moon Knight is a super weird character, and what his place might be in the greater MCU isn't clear at all. But this sort of oddball choice has worked out pretty well in the past for Marvel. Just look at Ant-Man, who was a similarly strange choice of headliner when his movie was announced years ago. Moon Knight is a fascinating character, because while on the surface he comes off like Marvel's attempt to rip off Batman, his powers are actually magical, weird, mystical abilities tied either to an ancient Egyptian god and the moon, or to his fractured psyche. More on that in a moment. Created by writer Doug Minch and artist Don Perlin in 1975, Moon Knight debuted in Marvel's Werewolf by Night, where he's introduced hunting the title character before teaming up with him instead. The two have generally been allies ever since. Moon Knight's story goes like this. His real name is Mark Spector, and he's the Jewish son of a rabbi who fled to the United States from Czechoslovakia during World War II. Spectre grew up in Chicago and joined the Marines, and then became a CIA operative, and then a mercenary after that. His wealth from being a mercenary and investments land him anywhere between $50 million to $3 billion in net worth, granting him a suave Bruce Wayne-style life. While in Egypt on one of his mercenary gigs, Mark ran afoul of his employer and was nearly killed. He only survived when his companions dropped his body in a tomb in front of an idol of Khonshu, the Egyptian moon god. While unconscious, Spectre's spirit met Khonshu, and Khonshu healed his injuries and granted him the power of the moon, basically making him able to survive mortal wounds and giving him super strength at night. But that's not all. Moon Knight suffers from dissociative identity disorder, or multiple personalities and he's got a pile of alter egos, including at one point Spider-Man, Captain America, and Wolverine. When he returned to New York, he created two new personalities, Stephen Grant and Jake Lockley. Grant is a Wall Street wizard and millionaire womanizer, while Lockley is a streetwise cab driver with an ear to the ground to keep tabs on criminals. It was after developing his other personalities when he took on the mantle of Moon Knight. Moon Knight operates with an arsenal of technology, vehicles, and costumes to suit his needs. Because of this issue with his mental health, there's long been some questions about whether Khonshu is actually real, and that question has often been part of the hook for his character arc. But whether or not Khonshu is fake, as established by writer Charlie Hudson's run on Moon Knight Volume 3 in 2006, Moon Knight's powers are definitely real, and they're definitely magical. As the mutant The Profiler tells him at one point, it's either because Khonshu is real or because Spectre's belief in Khonshu is so intense that he manifests them himself. Moon Knight has been an Avenger, has worked alongside Spider-Man, and he even had a young sidekick named Midnight. Now, so far the only magical folks we've seen in the MCU are Doctor Strange and his wizard pals. But guess what? Being a magic superhero, Moon Knight has had several run-ins with the Good Doctor in the comics, most recently being recruited by Doctor Strange's ghost into the Midnight Suns, a group of magical or supernatural heroes assembled by Doctor Strange to battle supernatural threats. Which, to us, makes him a prime candidate to be introduced in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness ahead of his Disney Plus series. But that's just a part of why we think Moon Knight will be involved in the next Doctor Strange movie. The main reason is because his origin is so weird, and it's tough to pin down how a concept like Khonshu would work in a universe where almost everything has some kind of firm explanation. But from his first movie, Doctor Strange has always been depicted as straight up dealing with literal magic. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness would be an easy place to introduce something as weird as Khonshu, just make him a being from another dimension like Dormammu in the previous film. Plus, attaching him to Strange, at least to begin with, would make it easier for going along with Moon Knight's supernaturalness. And just from a synergy perspective, doing so would create an easy feedback loop between Disney Plus and the movie theaters. We already know that the upcoming WandaVision will lead directly into the events of Multiverse of Madness after all. 
having Multiverse then connect back to Moon Knight makes a lot of sense. Moon Knight was ranked by Wizard Magazine as the 149th greatest comic book character of all time. IGN also listed Moon Knight as the 89th greatest comic book character, stating that Moon Knight is more or less the concept of what would happen if Batman were to suffer from dissociative identity disorder. Moon Knight will be led by Jeremy Slater, who co-created Netflix's The Umbrella Academy. The Moon Knight series was first announced by Marvel Studios' chief Kevin Feige during D23 in August of last year, along with Ms. Marvel. Oscar Isaac has appeared in the Star Wars trilogy sequel as X-Wing pilot Poe Dameron, and in 2016's X-Men Apocalypse as the mutant supervillain Apocalypse. In 2016, Time Magazine named Isaac one of the 100 most influential people in the world on the annual Time 100 list. And in 2017, Isaac was described as the best dang actor of his generation by Vanity Fair.